you. My name is Kevin. I'm a producer here at the Yext Broadcast Network. I also happen to be your hype man for today. Everybody needs a hype man, so I'm yours. Can I hear you? I think you can do better. One more time. Pretty good, pretty good. We'll get there. Let me tell you, you are the luckiest audience in New York City because you are at the live taping of not one, but two of our signature television shows. How does that sound? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna give you the lowdown on this. I'm gonna give you the lowdown. Since this is a live taping, I'm gonna need all of you to be present, okay? So when these signs light up, I need you to take action in a big way. Should we do a little rehearsal? Here we go. Let's give it a whirl. Come on, come on, come on. Better, 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 better. Okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good. Try this one. Oh, I, give it to me one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, yes, thank you. All right, now try this. Hit it. One more time. Oh, come on, that's weak. That show's getting canceled in a week. One more time, ready? Oh, give me more. One more time. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now try this one. I need weeping, sobbing. Ready? Go. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. Okay. So should we get the first show going? Are we ready? All right. The first show is our live news program, Truth Be Told, with yours and my favorite personality, Mr. Howard Lerman. He's, yes, he's getting ready. As you can see, he is right there. Uh, now, with Howard, we don't know what soapbox he's going to get onto, but we can guarantee you it's going to be, oh, I didn't see that. You follow directions. Very good. So when he gets on a soapbox, we cannot tell you what it's going to be, but we can tell you it is definitely going to be sudsy, right? And after we wrap with Howard, we want you to stay in your seats because as part of your two-for-one treat, you are going to see the premiere episode of Yext Broadcast New, soon-to-be lauded, critically acclaimed game show, The Answers Challenge. All right? If you're ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? Here we go. Enjoy the show. Misinformation. It slips into our feeds, our inboxes, our search results, often without us realizing it. It's never been harder to know what's real and who you can trust, and it's only getting worse. But that's not how it was supposed to be. And to shed some light on that, it's time for one of my favorite segments. History with Howard. One score and five years ago, the internet was an innocent place. Back then, it was called the information superhighway, a place where you could instantly access facts and information. Well, almost instantly. But despite what felt like an eternity waiting for the modem to connect, getting online was a game changer, especially for brands. Securing an online URL was a big deal. Sort of like scoring a piece of prime real estate in which to build your digital dream home, like Wendy's. Although their online home from 1996, it looks a little bit more like the house from Psycho. But no matter what look you went for, the internet guaranteed one thing, a 24-7 open house, and your customers could drop in whenever they wanted. The online customer journey in the 1990s was a direct one. 
no middleman. You just typed in the web address into the URL bar. But there was a catch. You had to spell the company's name correctly. One letter at a step, and you could end up someplace kind of familiar, yet totally different, like everyone's favorite sports destination, EAPN.com. <laughs> Funny as it seems, this was the beginning of some pretty shady behavior online. People squatted on misspelled versions of popular accounts. They often designed them to look the same. And then they'd monetize these error-prone visitors, you know, back when impressions were the real deal. And so that's why brands began to specifically advertise their website URLs on TV and radio and in print, because people had to know you to find you. But that would soon change. The Stone Age of the Internet, or Web 1.0, soon transitioned into the more modern Web 2.0 thanks to the invention of search. Innovators like Excite and Yahoo completely changed how consumers got information, including brands. You no longer needed to know a brand's URL or even its name. Instead, you just had to type in a few keywords, and these magical search engines would deliver a robust list of websites many of them that you may not have ever even heard of. And then Google came along and did something really clever. They created Chrome, and suddenly the URL bar became a search bar. And thus, Google became the world's homepage. And with that, the customer journey changed yet again. Now, when you typed in a brand's name into the browser, you no longer went to the brand's website, you went to the uh, get search results with 10 blue links. They were all vying for your attention. The first result was almost always the brand you were looking for. But SEO inspired a gold rush to occupy the remaining slots. For the consumer, there was a broad range of content to choose from. But for the brand, it meant it was a little bit harder to stand out. And to make matters worse, bad actors started to creep in distort the truth in search results. I'm talking about third-party websites that rank on the first page and look like authorities, but whose information is questionable. It's like a know-it-all. You know, that person at work or standing in line behind you who just has to interject with the perfect answer that they probably know absolutely nothing about? In fact, we have some footage. So what's new? I just got diagnosed with dry eyes. Oh, is that common? Oh, it is common. Over 1.1 billion Americans suffer from dry eyes. That can't be right. It's right. Chestnut-sided warbler. Uh, definitely. That's a bat. That's a warbler. That's a, it's a bat in heat. Who wrote Metamorphosis? Kafka. Francis Ford Kafka. Dad, what's the difference between an emperor penguin and a king penguin? Dad, may I? Emperor penguins have one eye on each side of their head, like humans. King penguins have both eyes on one side. Slow backswing. Follow the club with your head, OK? You get a lot more distance that way. Follow the club with your head. That looks good. Hey, did you know pizza was invented here in Secaucus? No, I didn't know that. Just a few blocks from here. You know, the guy who invented it was like, guys, I did it. I invented it. I invented pizza. Only in America. Black Friday falls on a Tuesday this year. You're welcome, Internet. <laughs> Todd Munyon is a walking, talking metaphor for misinformation online, which wreaks havoc every day thanks to millions of people just like him. We all know people like Todd. They think they know something. They think they know what they're talking about, but they don't. The Todds of the world dish out misinformation on all topics, 
including brands. And that misinformation can go viral with a single tweet or a single post. Now, naturally, we believe if something has millions of likes, it's got to be accurate. So distorted facts become the truth in a matter of seconds. You'd think that this would be different given everything that went down in the 2016 election. One of the most glaring reports showed the top 20 fake news stories on Facebook had 8.7 million engagements compared to the top 20 legitimate news stories, which had only 7.3 million. Yet, according to the most recent Edelman Trust survey, only 43% of people trust social media. So if consumer trust in social is that low, what can they trust online to get information? The obvious answer, search. Yet, that same Edelman report revealed only 65% of people trust search. That's a lot better than 43%, right? No! Think about it. Every day, we ask search engines the most intimate questions about our health, our finances, our relationships. We should feel 100% confident in the, the answers we get back. Imagine this. You're feeling ill, so you go to a doctor to get some answers about what's going on. He draws blood, and then he follows up by telling you he has 65% trust in the results. You drop him in a second. But brands are leaving their customers no choice but to solely depend on search engines. Why? Well, the answer rests in the title of our next segment. Your site search sucks. Your site search sucks. Sorry, but it does. Brand websites are beautifully designed, but the search experience they provide is stuck in the Stone Age. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. OK, anybody remember the infamous Tide Pod challenge? <laughs> Last year, it went viral on YouTube as thousands of teenagers and probably a few dumb adults dared one each other to eat these little packets of laundry detergent. The thing was so popular that when I started to type Tide Pods into Google, look at the first two suggested results. <laughs> Tide Pod recipes? All right, this can't be real, but my curiosity is peaked, so let's check it out. First result is Tide Pod sugar cookies. This, is this real? T Tide Pod recipes for the depressed. Are these, is this real? This can't be real. Are these really safe to eat? No, of course not. But the list of results says otherwise. Now let's see what happens when you try to confirm whether or not eating Tide Pods will kill you by checking in with the brand itself. I go to Tide.com, and there's the search bar in the upper right corner. OK, good. I type in, can I eat Tide Pods? And nothing. Well, not exactly nothing. Links to product information and a promise that you can trust Tide. But nothing about if Tide Pods are safe to eat. This is a trending topic, yet you can't find any information on Tide's website. Instead, they've left it to the Todd Munions of the world to advise people on whether or not pods of chemicals are a delicacy or a death trap. OK, this next example. It isn't ripped from the headlines like Tide Pods, but it's just as bad. First, let me set the stage. It's fall which means back to school. And that means many college freshmen are setting up bank accounts for the first time. So let's go ahead and check out student checking options at one of the biggest financial institutions on the planet, Citi. Let's go to their site. There's the search button in the corner. OK, great. I click it, and I type in student checking account. Super basic query, right? But here's the result. They asked me if I can say student a checking ac account in a different way. No, I can't. <laughs> no. But I can say it into Google. And look at that. I got four competitive ads, each of which ready to answer my question. But then check this out. If I click on the first suggestion from Google's People Also Ask box, what is the best checking account for students? Guess what I see? 
eight suggestions. Now, none of these are from Citi. They're all from a third-party website called wallethacks.com. So what you just saw was Citi get Todd Munyoned. Actually, they got Jim Wanged. But these examples aren't wacky outliers. People are being munioned and wanged millions of times every single day. And that feels broken. And I intend to fix it. I believe it's time for a new era of the internet, the era of truth. And at Yext, we're going to help shepherd in this new era and help you take back your truth. The customer journey starts with a question. And when it comes to branded queries, you should be the one to answer them. But to do that, your site search needs a major upgrade. And I have just the thing to do it. Today, I am thrilled to introduce Yext Answers. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yext Answers is the future of search. With Yext Answers, anyone with a website can answer a question about their brand in a Google-like experience on their own site. This is a big win for consumers who are often left in the dark when searching on brand websites. And when they win, you win in the form of new business and improved trust. Let's take a look at how Yext Answers works. On your left, here's Campbell's Soup's current website, before Yext Answers. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search for their signature product, Soups. OK, there's a lot of links here, but no specific product information. Maybe if I ask something a little bit more specific, that'll help us get somewhere, right? Let's go ahead and search for broccoli cheese soup recipes. Damn. Maybe we have to ask something a little bit more basic. How about calories in broccoli cheese soup? Oh, there's zero, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> That's zero results, not zero calories. Damn. OK, now let's switch over to the updated website, which incorporates Yext Answers as their new site search experience. I'm going to go ahead. Let's first start with that same side-by-side -side search. We're going to search for soups. Wow, this looks a lot like a Google result, but it's not. Everything you see here is dynamically populated from the Campbell's knowledge graph. There's multiple entities in the search results. Soups, recipes, even FAQs. There's vertical tabs, like in a Google results page. It's kind of night and day from the previous experience, right? Let's look for something more specific. How about broccoli cheese soup recipes? Remember, last time we got no results. This time, boom. We specified the recipe entity in the query, so now Answers is only delivering recipes. And they look amazing, but I want to get even more specific. I'm in a rush, so let's go ahead. Broccoli cheese soup recipes in 10 minutes. There you have it. All of the recipes that contain the soup and can be done in a flash. But we're not done yet. Let's go back to that search that got me all excited about calories before. We had no results for calories in broccoli cheese soup. So let's try it in Yext Answers. How many calories in broccoli cheese soup? A hundred. That's more like it. A hundred per serving. Yext Answers is so smart that when you ask it a question, it didn't just give you a filtered list back. It actually understood the question and gave you a specific, direct answer. But beyond just providing a breakthrough search experience, answers can help you achieve what matters most, 
driving new business. Let's take a look at IHA. They're a multi-specialty medical group in Michigan, and they provide more than a million patient visits a year, so you can imagine how much traffic their website gets. And naturally, one of the most common things people are looking for on a medical website is a doctor. So let's go ahead. We're going to run a search for pediatricians in Ann Arbor. IHA, now powered by Yext Answers, gives a beautiful, accurate answer in a Google-like experience that showcases their doctors. But let's get more specific. Pediatricians in Ann Arbor who take Aetna insurance. Wow, the complete set of doctors that match my query. But I want to go even a step further. Pediatricians in Ann Arbor who accept Aetna and speak Spanish. Let's search for that. Wow, a perfect answer. And the reason is because Yext Answers automatically parsed my query and then correctly identified all four filters using natural language processing. But the best part are the real actions the customer can take off this page. They can click to visit the doctor's site to get more information, and if they want, they can book an appointment right off the search experience, right off this page, with someone who's accepting new patients. And that is what an answers makeover enables. A specific direct answer plus the opportunity to drive a meaningful transaction in the real world. Okay. Now, while you want to drive your transactions up, we want to help you drive your support costs down. Support calls are a major cost center, but you can eliminate a lot of them with answers. We have at Onward some folks visiting from London. So let's go ahead and check out three. They're one of the United Kingdom's leading mobile carriers. People, their customers are always trying to figure out how and when they can upgrade their phones. Um, but because it's hard to find on a website, they end up having to call, and then they hang out on support, on hold, forever, for an eternity. Let's check out their site, now powered by Yext Answers. Let me go ahead and search for, how do I upgrade my Samsung phone? And wow, there's my answer. A bunch of information on exactly how to upgrade my phone, Best of all, with the X Dancers, a bunch of information about Samsung phones. I can click to read more and buy right there. And finally, one of the coolest features of Yex Dancers is customer intelligence. Let me explain. We have an action packed agenda at Onward over the next couple of days, and we've anticipated you all are going to have a lot of questions about the event. For instance, I bet many of you are pretty excited to hear from NBA legend Magic Johnson tonight. It is bound to be an inspiring keynote, but I'm forgetful, and I forgot what time he's speaking. So let's go to the onward19.com website, powered by Yext Answers, and ask, when is Magic Johnson speaking? There's my answer, 5.30 p.m. We understood the question and gave the answer. And the reason is because we keep our knowledge graph updated with all of the relevant information we thought you'd be seeking out. But sometimes there's questions that you might not see coming. Fortunately, our analytics shows you these insights so you can take swift action. Let's go ahead and look right now at what people are typing in to Yext Answers on onward19.com. OK, this is cool. It looks like a lot of people want to get a demo of the Answers product. They're asking for an Answers demo, and that's good. But we're returning no results for this query, and I think I know why. Let me first confirm. Let's go to onward19.com, get a demo. As I expected, no results. 
it's easy to explain why. We haven't launched Yext to Answers yet, so we haven't put the Answers product entity in our own knowledge graph yet. So how about I launch Yext Answers right now? I simply, <laughs> let's go to our own knowledge graph right here. We're going to find the Answers entity. We're going to activate it, push it live. It should be updated. Let's go and check onward19.com and run the same query. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, Yext Answers is now open for business. Now you can get Yext Answers and transform your own website into a powerful search engine. To recap, Yext Answers is going to help you drive transactions and grow your business, lower support costs and save on overhead, and manage your business with customer intelligence so you can stay ahead of what your customers are asking. My vision is for every business in the world on the planet that has a website to be able to answer a question about their own business just like Google can. And in our current reality of misinformation rampantly running online, this is a critical step to helping every business take back their truth. And that's why the X Knowledge Graph is so valuable. It helps you put perfect answers in search engine with our listings and pages products, and now with Yext Answers on your own website. Which is why I'm also proud to announce that we're positioning Yext as the search experience cloud. Every customer journey starts with a search. Let's make sure everywhere and every time a customer is searching for your brand, the search experience is exceptional. Now, tomorrow, we've got the legendary Seth Meyers coming to speak. So in closing my show, I'd like to honor him with a closer look at the future of search. <laughs> Now, some of you might be thinking that the way we search now is the way it's going to be forever. But technology changes all the time. Hell, when we started this company, the iPhone hadn't even been launched. You see, we believe that the future of search is really going to look a lot more like the beginning of search. You know, when a customer was able to go directly to a brand for answers. So today, the conversation might look like, Alexa, how many calories are in a Big Mac? But tomorrow, the conversation should be, hey, McDonald's, how many calories are in a Big Mac? In other words, when a customer has a question, they should go directly to the source, not to one of your competitors, and especially not to this guy, they should go to you. All you, all the time. Thank you. And cut. That's a wrap. Clear set. Amazing, right? Really, really amazing. Let's give it up for Howard Lerman again. Another round of applause. Truly, so inspiring, so inspiring, and so bold, because he told you that your site search sucks. So don't take it personally. Do not take it personally. With Howard, you know it's going to be a wild ride. Speaking of wild rides, who's here from out of town? By applause, applause. Oh, good, 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 good. Where are you from? Somebody tell me where you're from. San Diego. Love San Diego. Over here. Houston, London, all right, cheerio, I love London. Welcome to New York City, and also welcome to America's Florida table, Farmer's Market, Times Square. 
You'll love it. You'll love New York City. You'll love Times Square. Are we good? We're clear. Okay, great. We are ready to move on to our second show. So you heard Howard talk about answers. And we were so inspired at the X Broadcast Network by answers that we have created a brand new game show called The Answers Challenge, starring legendary game show host in his own mind, Guy Winkstone. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are we ready back here? Give it to me one more time. Are you ready? Okay, good. So after this commercial, you will now see the premiere episode of The Answers Challenge in five, four, three. In an era of misinformation, every brand needs a hero. Someone who takes charge, an expert in their craft. Someone who understands the digital ecosystem, inside and out. Someone with the passion to learn and elevate their career. The world of search is changing. People are seeking truth online. Answers from a source they trust. Help your brand provide verified answers. Be a part of a community and revolutionize the customer journey. Every brand needs a hero. So why not you? Live from New York and the Yex Broadcast Network, it's the game where a lucky consumer has questions, but will the brand have the answer? It's the Answers Challenge! And now, here's your host, Guy Winkstone! Hello everyone and welcome to the Answers Challenge, the game show where consumers have to complete the customer journey without losing their way or the game. The Answers Challenge mirrors what happens in real life every single day. A consumer has questions about the brands they love, but will they be able to find answers about them online? Our lucky contestant today will have two rounds to seek out the truth for a chance to earn points in hopes of making it to the final bonus round where a special grand prize is on the line. If she fails to get enough points, in the first two rounds combined, she'll go home empty-handed. But we don't want that to happen, so we'll need you to cheer her on. And speaking of, let's bring her out. She works part-time as a paralegal and is a mom of three. Please give a warm welcome to Angie Tompkins from Grand Rapids, Michigan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Hi there, Angie. Welcome to the Answers Challenge. Oh, thanks, Guy. I am so, so excited to be here. <laughs> All right, Angie, be sure and save some of that excitement and energy for the questions. We've got a lot of questions to answer. Are you ready for round one? You bet I am, Guy. Okay, so in the first round, you'll be seeking out answers to the three questions typically asked by consumers. We'll use three different brands, one question each. You'll have 30 seconds and get one point for each correct answer. Angie, did you follow all that math? Yes, Guy, I did. <laughs> Great. In round two, you'll get a second set of three questions. This time, they'll be slightly harder, but you'll get two points for every accurate and truthful answer you can find. To make it to the bonus round, you'll need to accumulate seven total points to qualify. Got all of that, Amy? Um, yes, Guy, but it's Angie. See, it's right here, Angie. It sure is. All right, let's take a look at the brand categories. <clears throat> Soups on. These are questions about everyone's favorite soup, Campbell's. Ooh. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> These are questions for IHA, a multi-specialty medical group from your home state of Michigan. Go blue! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and call me, maybe. These are questions for our, one of our hottest mobile carriers in the United Kingdom, three. Okay, Andy, in just a moment, we'll put 30 seconds on the clock and reveal the questions for each brand. But some good news. 
you have your choice of one of three helpful assistants to help you in finding those accurate and truthful answers. Each brand's own website, <clears throat> a self-proclaimed internet expert we have right backstage, or a mystery technology. So for this first round, what helpful tool will you choose? Well, gee, Guy, I'm not much of a risk taker, so I'll pass on the mystery technology. Um, I'm not sure who this expert is, so let me play it safe and use the official website for each brand. Great! <clears throat> In front of you, you have a laptop, and we've pulled up each brand's website. We'll reveal the questions on the board, and then we'll watch as you search the sites for the answers. All right, let's reveal the questions. For Campbell's, what are your Thanksgiving recipes? For IHA, how can I schedule a flu shot? And for three, how fast is 5G? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. 30 seconds, Angie. Go! Thanksgiving. 30 seconds. Recipes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, I see recipes. There's no Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, I'm going to move on. Uh, a flu shot in Michigan. Oh, my God. There's no just links. There's nothing. Um, okay, let, let, let's, let's keep going. I'm going to keep going. Uh, ah, ah, I gotta, ah. No, this isn't what I want. How fast is 5G? I don't know. Oh. I'm sorry, you ran out of time. I'm afraid you were unable to answer any of the questions using the brand's own websites. What a disappointment. I'm afraid you'll have to move on to round two with zero points. I know, Guy. I can't believe I couldn't find the answers on their own websites. It is a shame, but let's see how you do in the second round. Now remember, in round two, you'll need to get at least two out of three correct to move on to the bonus round. I hope you like your stakes high. Sometimes. Okay. You've already used the brand's website, so you can't use them again. What will you choose to help this time? The online expert or the mystery technology? Um, Guy, if he claims to be an expert, I think I'll go in that direction. I choose the internet expert. Terrific. Let's bring him out. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Todd Munyon. Todd is a self-professed online expert. He's known in circles of one as a savant when it comes to soup, doctors, and cell phones. Todd, welcome. Thanks, guy. Angie, I'm here to get you to that coveted final round. Oh, thanks, Todd. Let's I'm really going to need your expertise here. Well, I'm here for that. OK. <laughs> OK, same categories as before. Todd, once we display the questions, go to work with those answers. Annie. Be sure to take lots of notes. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, I'm ready now, Guy. Thanks. Okay, Todd. Here is your first question for Campbell's. Are there allergens in jambalaya? Mm, jambalaya. Angie, it's widely known that jambalaya can be one of the deadliest soups, especially if you make the mistake of mixing poultry and seafood together. Now, if we're talking traditional jambalaya and you are lactose intolerant, you're going to want to avoid it completely because that is a very creamy dish. All right. Great answer, Todd. Here's the next question. It's a medical one for IHA. Who do I go to for a skin checkup? Mm. Well, this is a very timely question because that ozone layer is still a very big problem. Angie, uh, the Latin word for skin is pellis. So naturally, you're going to want to seek out the top pelisologist in your area. All right, good stuff. <laughs> and here's the final question for three. What deals are happening on Black Friday? Oh, the holidays are upon us already. All right, uh, Angie, first things first. This year, Black Friday falls on a Tuesday. Now, that always happens the year before a leap year, OK? So you're going to want to mark your calendar accordingly. Wow, Todd, that was a real tour de force. Well done. Thank you. Now, Angie. Oh, yes. At least two of Todd's three answers need to be confirmed as accurate and truthful for you to move on, move on to the final round. How are you feeling? Well, I mean, 
Todd, you seem like a really nice person, <laughs> and a lot of what you said maybe made sense. Where did you say you learned all of this? I didn't. Now, Angie, we're going to throw a little slight wrinkle into the game. You have a choice. You can move forward with Todd's answers, but if you get fewer than two correct, you go home empty-handed. Or you can decline his answers and go straight through to the bonus round. But the catch is you have to answer all six questions on only 60 seconds, and the only assistant you have is the mystery technology. Well, gosh, guy, Todd is pretty convincing, but... Audience, what do you think? But I don't know where he got his information from, so, Guy, I think I'll try the mystery technology! Great! Todd, that means we'll say goodbye to you. Happens all the time. Here's a category, oral hygiene. Start looking that one up. Okay, Angie, as promised, you are officially in the bonus round, but to successfully complete the c customer journey... <laughs> gotcha. To completely successfully complete the customer journey and win the game, you must answer all six questions asked so far using the mystery technology. We'll give you 60 seconds, answer all questions perfectly, and you're our big winner. Are you ready? Yes, Guy, I'm ready. Okay, let's reveal your mystery technology. You'll be using the website from each brand again. But that didn't work. It sure didn't. But this time you'll be using the brand's website powered by Yext Answers. I literally have no idea what that is. Johnny, tell her what it is. Angie, Yext Answers is the future of search. That's it? Yes. If we told you more, it wouldn't be a mystery. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'll go with the future of search. <laughs> Great! Angie, 60 seconds are on the clock. To recap, the six questions from the first two rounds are on the board. Good luck. Your time starts now. Thanksgiving 60 recipes. Seconds. Oh, okay. Oh, Thanksgiving leftover hand pies. I don't know what those are. They sound good, though. Um, are there allergens in jambalaya? So I beat and wait! Okay, um, how can I schedule a flu shot in Michigan? Oh, urgent care! Who do I go to for a skin checkup in Michigan? Montgomery Gellert, MD! I hear he's very good. How fast is 5G? It's really fast, it saves lives! What's on Black Friday? Sales! Sales! Nothing but sales! Wow! <laughs> Andy, what impressive time! I think that may be a new record for a bonus category. Congratulations, Angie! <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Now, Johnny, tell her what she's won. Congratulations, Angie. You just won a customer experience filled with brand verified answers. No longer will you have to navigate the choppy waters of the internet. Life will be a beach now when you seek answers from brands online. You'll spend less time searching and have more time to relax and take a vacation, like perhaps to this location. Congratulations, Angie. Vacation not included, taxes may apply. Wow, Angie, you're sure to enjoy that. Audience, let's give her a hand. Congratulations again to our new champion, and a big thanks to you for watching. If you'd like to play the Answers Challenge, we're taking the game on the road to Onward. There will be plenty of questions to answer and wonderful prizes to win. Until then, I'm Guy Winkstone, and that's the truth. But the question remains, is your brand telling the truth? We'll find out next time on the Answers Challenge. Me?
On behalf of the entire cast and crew, I want to say welcome to Onward 19. We have an absolutely amazing two days lined up. So many great panels and breakouts. We've got a killer expo area. We've also got some incredible special guests, including World Cup champion coach Jill Ellis, marketing guru Seth Godin, star of the office Jenna Fisher, the funniest man on late night TV, Seth Myers. and the legend of legends, the one and only Magic Johnson. But the real star of the show, Yex Dancers! Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the show.